Hi. So this video is sort of out of the blue, but I just wanted to share my experience. And I don't know, like, I'm just really happy in life. And one of the things I want to talk about is asking, asking for things. When I was a kid, I felt like asking was more of a privilege of some people. And I felt like I myself could not do it. Or if I ever did, I felt really guilty about it. And at the same time, I was sort of afraid to hear for people answers. For example, you know, just being in school and asking someone like, hey, do you have an eraser? Could you lend me a pencil? Do you have a little sheet of paper? Those things would literally kill me inside. I felt like really bad, wrong, guilty. And I just felt like, you know, like, hey, I should not ask for anything. And so my whole life, I sort of was living in asking is not good. You have to do everything yourself and sort of closing up the opportunities. But at the same time, communication with people and asking for things kind of like meant that I'm going to be not as good at the image of myself will change that I'm a bad person and stuff like that. So like for me, asking was kind of like a taboo like it, it, it wasn't one of those things where I would like really like go to the store and if I need something if I need to find something in the store I will not go to person and ask for it I'm gonna do it myself one I don't like to engage with people two I would be afraid of it I would be afraid to go and ask for things and just to communicate with people so that was really hard for me and recently recently in the in the last two years I've been changing a lot one of the biggest things that changed is like listening to Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, some of you might know him. He changed my mindset to the point where he changed my mindset to the point where it's okay to ask for things. It's okay to ask and do things. And I was able to sort of let go of my fears of what people will say, if it's okay or not, and how to feel, not even dwell on things, not feel guilty about it, to just do it because... And I know like there's probably like a few groups of people, those who are asking a lot of things in life and some of them might be obnoxious. Some of them might be just like, whoa, slow down. You're just like really getting into my personal space. Could you please hold back? And others who will like, be really hold back and like never ask anything from everyone. And sort of like in my family, it was more of a thing, you know, like you have to do it yourself. You know, you don't like never stay in depth or like uh, just like always having everything yourself and never asking for things. And now I'm living in the world where, you know, communication, connecting is a big deal. And even, even like asking for help, asking for help is one of the big things. And for me, again, because of how I live my life and meeting people whom I ask for things and, you know, like we were talking like and getting personal and then you ask for something and then all of a sudden they end up sort of revealing your secrets so if, you're, if you're best friends and you're sharing your secrets and someone else tells it to the whole world and things like that so like I sort of like when I was young learned that like I can't trust people and I'm never gonna ask for anything because they're not gonna get any and like not gonna help me not gonna give anything and to the point where like you're like if you want to do something do it yourself don't ask for things because like you ask for someone and they're just not gonna live up to your expectations they're not gonna do things the way you want it and just like hey do it yourself so living with that mindset I had to overcome myself, overcome my fears and just move away. I want, I'm sharing this because like with me developing as a, as a person, I'm noticing a lot of wins in life to the point where there's this like anime website. It's my hobby, like translating and, and, and like editing and stuff like that. And one of the things like I'm growing a community, me and my team, we're growing a community. And one of the things like I'm, I'm seeing myself more as a manager where I reach out to people and I'm asking for things. I'm asking like there's a Comic Con like people who are like organizing Comic Con in Lithuania, and I'm just gonna write like I'm I'm writing to them and like hey just like offering them a commercial, seeing if I can do anything for the person. And in return, I'm asking like could you give me a few tickets for like so that I could give it to people and stuff like that. But then I end up changing my mindset into it's okay to ask for things. It's okay to ask and not be afraid of it, not hold back. And I know like I'm probably not being clear or I'm not giving you that much of a value con. It's more like just like talking about myself. But for me, it's a big deal to move away from a person who is like lost in the airport and I'm not going to talk to anyone because I'm freaking afraid. And I feel bad if I talk to people and I feel bad if I ask for things. And it's going to just like, I come up to a person if I need to ask for anything, like my throat locks up and I feel really bad. Like I just can't talk. I'm not going to do it. And I spend 20 minutes you know, walking around looking for my stuff found it you know but it's like could have been just like a few seconds hey 
where's this? And they give you the answer and you go your own merry way. So for me, like it's, it's a big change. And the biggest one right now, like even today, I was talking to my brother on Discord and you know, as we're talking, I turned on Facebook, just like scrolling down and I saw that like one of my favorite musicians in Lithuania, Andres Mamont was, he was uh, posting in like a little thing, like he's doing a giveaway, a GoPro, like a free, and he's saying like, hey, just give a good word, like write to me and I'll give it to you for free. And I'm like, damn, in the past, I would feel like, uh, what should I say? And like, I should tell him a story or like do this and give something in return. And now I'm like, hey, I'm interested. I'm, I'm making some videos and I would love to get it. And so to write and ask and have no expectations. I don't expect to say, to hear yes or no. I'm just asking like, hey, it's an opportunity. I'm going to use it. And so for me in the past, I would be afraid of the answer no. I would be afraid of hearing no or people telling me like, mm -mm, just go off. And so so that would be like, like, I'm like, I'm not good enough or you know, it's just like kind of feeling like a failure or like, damn, like I would feel bad if I would hear no. And from Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, like he was like posting how to get connected, how to get the job you want and stuff like that. For example, like just like mentioning that if there's a job you like, like a person you admire, you take your Instagram and you spend your time writing to at least 90 people or 90 companies and saying, hey, I don't have much money, but I would love to work for you and da, da 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 And you tell them your story and you end up working for someone who you really admire, working for someone where you're like really happy. And people were just like, try it out. Try writing to 30 different people. And some of them might say yes. Some of them might say no. And the thing is, it's like, it's not like, oh, I heard no, I'm not good enough and giving up. Like I, I used to be there. I used to be where like, if someone says no, I'm like, okay, back off and never again. But now it's like, you know, I feel like, I feel it's good. I feel it's good to ask for things and just try. So for me, like I'm getting hyped up in life because I'm seeing tons of opportunities and I finally have the courage to step up the game. And for me, like, like in, in the last two years, I've changed a lot. I've changed a whole lot, like personally, like the, the way I see it and asking for things became one of the major things. It's not like I'm asking every day for something, but like to connect with people, to ask for the connections, to even like, hey, I would like to talk to you. Like, would you be interested in having an interview or something like that? Like, it, it used to be like, oh, damn, like, I want to talk to that person, but I'm so freaking afraid to write, to hear the answer, to connect. Like, I really want it, but it feels like it's never going to happen. It's impossible for me. Now, if there's someone I admire, I'm going to write to them. And like, I'm not going to really care about the outcome or the answer. I just want to do things because I want to do it. And I feel like a lot of people, for example, you might have a person you admire or love or really like, and you're like, you really want to connect, but like just walking up to the person asking like, Hey, like, I really like you and blah, blah, blah. And you just like either ask them for a, like for a date or something, but really a lot of people have that feeling where they want to connect no matter what. And the fear, the tremendous fear of asking of how you're going to look in that person's appearance of how, you know, what, what will other people think of you and how you're going to feel about yourself like if you hear no and how much that can hurt you for some people it builds up others you know like for some people like where i like grew up in my life i feel bad if i ask for something others can ask for things obnoxiously and not care about anyone else's you know private space or anything like you know like some some people can just keep calling you all day long and like they're just gonna go for their thing and it's good you know like it's good for them but you know like different people different circumstances different feelings it's not stuff for me i grew up in a world where asking for things is not a good thing and um even if it's asking for help you know you get hurt and instead of asking for help you would like go through all the pain and like really try to deal with it and come on the other side of it as a whole different person who closes up who's more like fuck the world, fuck the outside. You're basically saying back off everyone. I'm going to do it myself. And you sort of, I've like, at least for me, I end up isolating myself from the world, from everyone else. And now I feel like it's okay to ask for things. Even if they say no, even if they don't agree with things, even if the answer is like completely different from what I expected, at least I ask. At least now I know the answer and I can move on. And for me, it took a while. It took a while, but like, to stop dwelling on things, to stop being afraid of the answer. Like, um, I know like, like they're just a musician today that uh, is doing the giveaway of the GoPro. Man, I admire him. He's my favorite musician. I was going to like, a, 
Okay. I've went to like two or three of his concerts and I really love that. Like, you know, like the, the things I got from his music, like literally life changing. Like I, I was having like literally the day where I'm like, I'm about to commit suicide as I still have the ticket to his concert. But like just everything went down to it for a whole week. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to go there. And I come out as a blissful end up like, damn, I feel so freaking good. Just like this music, his presence and everything else. And so like I wrote to him on Facebook a few times just like, you know, like asking about his life, like, you know, like he was like traveling around the world. And I just like asked him a few things and he was so down to earth, like someone you admire, someone has like, uh, just hundreds of thousands of followers, like people that there's like, uh, admiring him as well. And he takes his time out of his precious day and gives it to you and tells you about his day. And like, for me, that was like, damn, it felt so good. And then one day, as I was still growing up and this probably like 2017 or so, I wrote to him and like, like, hey, what are the chords of your song? I would really love to learn it. And I never got the answer. And I felt so bad that I felt like I can't, I can never write to the person again because I assume that he doesn't like me or something else. You know, and so, so like, there's that little thing where you get no response and it kills you because you don't know what to think and then you make shit up. That was me. So today I was like, I felt really good. It's been really a long time, like a few years since I talked that like to the person. Uh, but because of the buildup and development I had throughout like a few years, I became different and I felt so good just writing like, Hey, da -da -da -da, just like I told him on my thing. I asked for like, for like, I'm, I'm interested in that GoPro thing and I'm feeling good about it. And I don't care if he says yes or no, if he doesn't respond, I feel good because I did what I wanted to do and response like, yeah, comes with whatever it is. If it's yes, I'm going to appreciate it. If it's no, I don't care but I'm just happy because I was able to do what I wanted to do. And I know this feeling like having someone you admire and this tremendous fear. Like for me, literally there was this person I admired and it took me half a year to write a message because I was so afraid of that person will say and to be rejected, that fear was sort of killing me. And I was like, damn, like every single time I have this message ready, I wrote it like a long time ago and I would edit it every single day and like see what, like how should they say it and stuff. And having this like damn send or not to send and like just for a half a year i was delaying a freaking message to the person i admired that's fucked up because i was like sort of thinking like worse shit that can happen and it's like come on and now it's like oh i like this person like i write a message and like yay and i feel good about it and like to let go of the fear of rejection or the fear of like what can happen or what they're gonna think of you like what changed for me is like I appreciate myself for who I am. I'm not like super in love in, like with myself and I'm not that vain. I don't see that yet. Who knows? Maybe you see it. But for me, like the biggest thing is like, I know who I am and I like that. I like where I'm going. I like where I'm developing. I know my faults. I know my mistakes and stuff, but I still like to sort of like tell myself like, hey, do this, do what you love. And the thing I learned from Gary Vee is like, live your life for yourself like go for the happiness go for being happy no matter what like don't do things you hate and that was like sort of like a massive freedom for me because like people in my modern would push me into like hey do this and they would offer things that would sort of make me feel bad because it's not something i'm interested in but they will not like me if i don't do those things if i choose something different i'm gonna be like looked down on they will not appreciate me they will not love me and to be okay with choosing your own path because you want to be happy and not go into pleasing each other's to let go of pleasing each other's of like just like trying to kiss up and just like be the perfect person for others but not for yourself that was such a massive freedom and to move away from that station like where i was to become a whole different person in just personality and um for me it's a massive thing so i don't know like i just wanted to share that because uh you, you never know who's watching that's again, like Gary Vee thing. You never know who's watching you. For me, like the biggest one is like asking for things just because like, I'm interested in like maybe connecting with some people, maybe making some deals. Like for example, like from my website, uh, just sort of like, I'm going to do an ad for you. I'm going to advertise you. I'm going to make sure like you're noticed, but give me something in return. Like if you take us to your, uh, you know, like Comic-Con or like a sort of game on or some other like a mm, things or like exp expositions or like some games or whatever. And in the past, I would be afraid to ask for it. In the past, I would be like, oh shit, 
how do I say it? And what if they say no? And what do what, what do you think and stuff like that? Now it's like I'm just gonna ask. And if they say no, no. And so like I literally like uh I'm creating like one website where like I want to have my own store and stuff. And I was like sort of like reaching out to like at least 30, 40, 50 companies all around the world that are like doing like loot boxes and stuff like that. And most of them didn't respond. They seen the message, they're like, eh, fuck it. And others like, ah, nope, not gonna work for us. And I wrote to like a lot of people. Like my Facebook is filled with tons of messages. My emails are filled with tons of messages that I wrote to others and not response. And I feel good about it because like, um, why would I feel bad? Why would it feel like I have been rejected? It's not good enough. I'm like, yeah, I tried it. Cool, good for me. And so like now I know the answer and I just keep moving on. And like, I don't know, I think like learning to ask for things and feeling okay about it is good. Whether you're asking for help, whether you're asking for, you know, like, hey, I need a tip or something, just help me out and stuff like that. It's a big deal. And the camera's all messed up. <laughs> it gives a fuck. But yeah, I don't know, like for me, like it's it's a massive thing. I just wanted to share this win in my life because some of you might be going through this well. And like, doesn't matter like what you're going through as in whether you want to ask a person out or you want to ask for help or something else. I think like having the courage to try things and just reaching out and doing it because it means a lot to you and trying it out because it's it means a lot for you is important. Letting go of fears of what others will think of how you're going to appear to others of you know the way they might change their perspective and all the stuff is your life is not about other people you can help and impact others and it's great but do things for yourself do what makes you happy and for me i'm learning this i'm still you know going that way and just like just seeing how i'm developing how i'm like sort of like winning in life for myself it means a lot to me and I'm, i want to share this because maybe maybe after watching this video you're gonna go like oh okay and you will have the courage if you don't have it to write to someone who's like important to you, who, like maybe someone you admire, or maybe just like ask for things like, "Hey, Aquila, uh, I want a free session and shit like that." Go, go for it. Like you know, like uh, just asking whatever is important to you, doing it because you like it, and like I think it's sort of like eventually it's sort of like freeing. It, it frees you from your worries and concerns because a lot of us might do something, but then. We don't know the outcome. We don't know what other people are thinking, but we assume we know. And we sort of think of the worst case scenarios with the worst stuff. And like a lot of people, you know, we're tearing ourselves apart from within. We don't need anyone else. We're gonna do it ourselves. And a lot of people are really hateful and they look down on themselves and they're like, you know, like they might not get the message and like, you know, like I'm not good enough. And that person doesn't want me. They're not interested and stuff like that. And we're just gonna sort of like kill ourselves from within slowly and torture ourselves with our own thoughts. And it's, I've been going through that. I've been going through that a lot where, you know, like depending on what happens with other people, the way they respond. And even if I had, like, I get no response in the past, I would torture myself thinking like, you know, like, oh, I'm not good enough or they don't like me anymore. I should never write to that person again because, and that was like scary to see how I can be limited because of my own beliefs and thoughts that, that were, not, were not true. I don't know what other people think, I don't care. And that's the biggest part, like just to let go of those things. So I guess the biggest thing I could like go for or like with the message of this video is like, just like feel free to ask for things. I think like it's, it's important to give yourself the freedom. Those that have no problem with it is great. But those that are really working hard to ask someone out, to connect, to get something, you know, we just have to do it. Let go of your fears and easy easy for me to talk to because I've already I did it and like I won but it's big it's big and I, I think like if we had the courage to actually go for it to ask for things and to see what happens just go with it but like just to ask write to tons of people whatever you want like you know, like you want to learn the notes you want to learn the music you want to get something from them you want to ask them out you want to get response you never know what can happen but if you try you know if you ask it shall be given or how they say it so for me, like I'm seeing the changes and I'm just like really excited about life because there's a lot of things going on in the background and I'm excited because of some of the bigger projects I have for myself. I want to share about those as well, but later it's sort of like a big personal project and I want to, I want to make more of an impact if I do it 
and see results and then publish it rather than talk about it and like uh shit didn't happen the way i planned <laughs> you know so i'm working on those things but like we'll see uh so yeah that would be my video just like i wanted to share my stuff and my wins and maybe maybe someone can sort of take a message and like hey i'm just gonna ask for things or write to someone and just like really get in touch ask for things if it means a lot to you or just like just try just try to connect to someone if you want if you're looking for a job look for the companies or people that you would like to work for or work with and i think like reaching out to tons of them doesn't matter who they are if, if they're like celebrities superstars or someone like you know, like you like hey like uh, there's elon musk i would like to work for that guy write to him you never know you know so like uh i would just say like just do it <laughs> so so yeah that would be my answer so like thank you for watching and if, you know feel free to share your story like have you gone through the same thing have you had fears with asking for things and if you did have you overcome it and if you did how or if you've never had any fears for asking like what's your what's your story what's what's your thing so share your story below and like i'm interested in reading and finding out more about you and learning and maybe you will be the one inspiring others so Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.